hello and welcome back to my youtube channel it's done here so today we are with the love from lizzie card kit for july and we are going to make uh some cards so we're going to make five today um so let's get this in some sort of bundle um we've got lots of ephemera in this kit always nice to have ephemera um okay and die um we've got the polaroid so if you haven't seen my unboxing do check that out it is up on my channel um ready for you guys um but yeah let's make some cards so i've got some card bases already to go um like i said we're only going to make five in today's video um so they are i think if i remember rightly they are six let me have a look six and a quarter by four and a half so that's the size of card base that i'm using i just found them in my stash so i thought they're perfect to use so that's what we're going to use today um so yeah i think let's let, let's just get started so grab my trimmer we are going to need it and i'm going to start off with some plain card stuff i'm going to go with this blue and i'm going to cut a panel actually i'm not going to cut a panel we're going to stick our card base on now a couple of these i've got i don't know if you can see um they've got sink on them so i'm going to cover that by gluing something right up to the the side i want to say it's a little bit of resin well actually no it's a, i know it's an alcohol ink marker that's soaked into it but i don't want to waste I don't want to waste okay so just putting glue on i'm going to line that up with this piece of paper and so to get a perfect um like panel on here this is the best way that i've found in doing it so i'm going to cut it around this like so and then i'm just going to open it up because now i am going to put an insert in here just so that it hides that mark um and it'll just be a piece of copy of paper folded in half right so there we have it so that is now on there so that is oh don't know what that is that is perfectly all done now we do have in the kit so we can make a really quick easy card with this one we do have these journaling cards and you know we can just pop these on i'm liking this hello summer i do need to cut them properly um yeah i like that so i'm going to cut this because it's just where it just hasn't been cut quite right so i'm going to take that off and i think we need to get a new trimmer and i'm just going to take off a little bit off each side just to make that just a little bit smaller and then that is going to sit there so we've got that lovely border so we're going to have that um enjoy the sweet and simple sunny dales i like that so i'm going to have this as an extra piece which i'm going to stick straight onto our piece here yeah so let's glue this down okay like that okay I'm not i think that's well and truly stuck yeah okay so we've got that the other thing i want is where's the banners we did have a sheet of banner stickers there they are i'd like to put one of them on and i'm thinking this red i'm just going to put that up in that corner like so and then to finish this card off we're just going to grab some of the twinkles and we're just going to put these on like this oh i need to go and get my what do you call them oh it's gone yeah they're gone everywhere where are my tweezers do you know i lose everything all the time you would think that you know um am i the only crafter that does it 
like the only one that loses everything i feel like that's all i ever do when we're on camera is searching for stuff i'm just going to use this um yeah and it's pretty annoying there we go and then another one so that Okay, and then I'm just going to put two down the bottom here. So one this size. Okay, and it just adds a little bit of sparkle. But yeah, um, just been tidying up. I did a vlog, I think, where I tidied up. So yeah, goodness knows where I put anything. But there you go. That is our first card all made ready to go. So that's number one. Let's get on to card number two. Um, I'm really liking that blue. And I'm thinking I'm going to do the same again. Cover the whole thing in this blue. There's only a tiny bit on this one. So I could have got away with a white border. And then I'm just going to stick that down there again because I don't want to have any border and then we're just going to cut around like this okay now that I've done that I'm just going to open the card up and you can see where that goes over the top so I'll trim it down and that gives us a perfect, a perfect fit. So I haven't quite cut it right there though. There we go. Okay. So there's that piece done. Now this time I'm going to grab some of the patterned paper. Okay. Um, I'm kind of liking that blue. And then I'm thinking. Oh, I quite like them all. I'm thinking this one. So I'm going to cut this down to six by four. So that should give us a nice border. Oh, actually, I'm going to cut it down to five and three quarters by four. And then this piece, I'm going to cut down to three and a half by five and a quarter that's going to go in there so we've got some nice layers there so let's get this glued down okay and then this piece okay and then we're just going to stick them in like so gorgeous and then grabbing our lovely um sticker sheets we're gonna have a look i'm loving the, i keep getting drawn towards that um rainbow let's see what else there is um oh i like that you are my sunshine so don't want to use the rainbow i want the rainbow to be on its own card so i'm going to stick that there so i'm liking that um and then we've got a sun and a cloud. Um, what else do we have? Let's have a look. Um, sun, cloud. I'm wondering whether I do the tree or even. Oh, we've got a bigger cloud. Oh. I like that right okay so I'm going to do that now I didn't stick them down properly which I'm so glad that I didn't now we can right love 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 I think that looks fab okay yeah and then just to finish it off I'm just going to put these little stars just here just that right that Oh, that didn't even come off, right? Totally pulled off. There it is. 
there's the sticky part but all sorted right um is that it is that all i want oh right you know what um i'm thinking there we go i'm just gonna cut them in half and that's gonna go across there like that and then we have card number two i like that i think that looks lovely really really nice okay so that's card number two done our next card i'm just gonna use one of these so let me get a card base um again let's cut it out properly okay I'm not going to use any cardstock or anything for this we are just going to stick it down okay again i think this is going to be another really quick simple card just because i mean how beautiful does that look let's have a look through the ephemera best summer ever i don't think so <laughs> um lazy hazy crazy days of summer no can't get any better than this i want something i don't know i quite like that and then i'm thinking those strips that we've got these strips we just put one of the strips along the bottom i think in the blue so again keeping it quite quite simple let me just there we go maybe i was i like that up there but actually i'm thinking that maybe it would go there better now what i'm going to do i'm going to take a bit of this okay like so and we're just going to stick it on either side so that it oh a bit too much um and the reason why i'm doing this is because then it's not going to droop so it was ready to droop on me okay i'm just going to pop some glue on and then there we go and now it sits all nice and flat really liking that um i don't think there's anything i mean we could put it's all words it's all words um no no i don't know i don't know whether to do the tree yeah let's do the tree okay so we've got the tree and is there anything else i want next to the tree um i don't think so nope um i'm not gonna lie i'm finding this kit quite hard do you know what let's do let's do some sentiments so there we go and one more i'm gonna stick with the red there we go when in doubt just add lots of sentiments yeah there we go so that is card number three all done okay so let's go on to our next card where's the card bases um let's have a look hmm. Hmm. i just don't know what about if we do a card with the stamp set maybe that will give us something right um i do need a stamping block we need some ink so there's my stamping block um i think i'm gonna do a bit of water coloring so i'm gonna take out just a couple of my distress inks we're gonna use those um because i think that would be really nice and then the other thing that i need is my where's my ink oh, i can't 
archival. Right, because we're watercolour and I'll just use my archival ink. Okay, so I'm going to do this flower and I want to do a few of them. Okay, let's do that and we do need some cardstock. Now I've got a load of scrap white in here which I'm just going to use because, yeah, I have a lot of it. Okay, so... Hopefully this isn't dry. I haven't used these in forever. Right. Now it is a new stamp set, so the chances are it's not going to stamp perfect first time. Oh. There we go. And then... This one. So I'm not sure how many I'm going to do. But I'm thinking I'd rather do more than not enough. Um, but we're going to stick with the blue, I think. Do you know what? Let's do this one as well. Okay. Right, there we go. Now, I'm not sure what sentiment I'm going to go with yet, but I'm sure we can find a really nice one. Um, I'm just going to grab a cup with some water in. And we need a brush. So, we need a nice one. Hopefully this one will work. Right, okay. Let's go. Do you know what? I'm going to use this packaging here as my palette so if you don't have like um a palette or anything you can just use a bit of packaging um like this so we're just going to put a little bit on of our ink so i'm going to do it both sides there we go and all i'm going to do is just put my water in like that and we're just going to color in our flowers um, and I'm going to keep them all blue and I don't mind if I go over the lines okay so just like this keeping it very simple I do like this flower this flower is lovely a little bit more colour on that and then last couple of bits and you can see nothing special here just yeah just doing a nice quick easy card right well watercolor sorry and then we've got the green here so I'm using peeled paint and blue print, print sketch um, and again we're just going to add that color on I do need to get either an orange or a yellow, just for those little dotty bits. Although, I might, I don't know if I want them on yet. Okay. So let's do that. A little bit more ink. And there we have it. I mean, how quick and easy was that? Super, super quick. Okay. Right, I am going to bring in my uh, mustard. Um, so this is, oh no, fossilised amber, sorry. I thought it was my, uh, the mustard one then. But no, the fossilised amber, and all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of that yellow into those dots. That's it. That's all we're doing. I love colouring in like this, like really quick and just so freeing. Um, if you wanted to, if you want to add more depth to this, you can by going in with another layer of colour. Um, or you can leave it just one solid uh, block of colour. It is entirely, um, entirely up to you. Right. Okay, so, for instance, if I just put 
a little bit more ink on there we'll just grab that we can bring in some shadow areas and just add a little bit of more color on um, just you know and I'm not I'm not brilliant at shadows I never have been but I do like to have and I'm just gonna bring in just some water just to blend that out just a touch now this isn't watercolor cardstock but I want you to see that as well one of the reasons why I haven't used watercolor cardstock is that you can do it providing you don't saturate your um, what do you call it um, saturate the the paper you can do some basic things with watercolor so yeah and then these I'm just going to go down one side just to add a little extra something and as you can see those have you know blended out beautifully I'm not going to blend out the leaves we're just going to leave them and there we have it that's it um and we didn't even use a palette how amazing is that right i am just going to use these scissors because they're on my desk but um we are now going to fussy cut these out and i'm going to leave a nice white border around them now i'm not bothered that my lines are not super black um if you are then go in over the top with a black pen and that will solve that issue but I quite like it I think it gives it a nice distressed look so we're going to keep it okay so I'm just going to finish off cutting this one and then I'm going to go off camera and cut the rest out so there's our first flower all cut how beautiful does that look so let me get these cut out and then yeah and then I'll be back right okay we're back so I have my card base here now I ended up stamping the hello sunshine and I've just cut out the hello because I don't want the sunshine on here and I think what I'm going to do is very simple card like super simple that that's it how cute is that so that's what we're going to do but i need to make sure it's the right way uh before we do though um just so that we're doing something else i'm going to grab the strips uh so here they are and i'm going to grab this blue one and we're going to just pop this across the bottom of our card okay oh let's trim that off okay use that in something else and then I'm just going to grab my glue and we're just going to glue these down so I only want three of them so I'm going to start off in the middle like so and then one on either side just like this trying to get them evenly spaced out or as best as I can anyway okay and then that one as well so I've dropped the two outside ones just a little bit and then we're going to grab our sentiment and we're going to stick our sentiment right here in the middle like that to finish this off I am just going to grab some twinkles okay and we're just going to put some twinkles around our piece oh there we go there we are and I'm doing the smallest size for all of the twinkles because I just think the smaller size is want to be the nicer one. Oh, I keep hearing as if someone's coming here I am waiting on a couple of parcels today right I'm gonna just do another two in this corner and then I think we're done did we get that no because there it is 
my tweezers would be so much better. I do have some. Um, okay. Oh, honestly. Right. Don't be like me. I have tweezers <laughs> to hand. Oh, I really, really like that. There we go. So that is card number four. I think this might actually be my favourite. Right, I'm going to tidy up a little bit and try and work out what I'm going to do for the fifth card because my mind is blank. So give me two seconds um, and I'll be back. Right, okay, I'm back and I know what we're going to do. Right, I'm going to take this piece here and I'm going to just give it a little mark of where I want to cut it just to match up with my... Um, my car base because I just want a small border all the way around right and then I'm going to glue this down okay so just like this and then I'm going to glue our frame onto this card stock okay this blue cardstock, I have to say, has come in very handy. Right. Okay. And then we're just going to cut around it because I don't want that blue to be seen. Okay, so all the way around. I mean, you can just measure this um, and cut it just a little bit smaller. Um, but, yeah, this way is just the easiest for myself. I've just missed a few areas. There we go. So that's going to just sit on there. So I'm going to glue that down. Okay, I'm just going to have it at a slight angle. And then one of our flowers that we have cut, I am going to stick in the middle. Like this. How pretty is that? let's grab some oh we've got some blue so i'm going to grab some of this there's only 30 centimeters i think she said on her unboxing but we're going to tie a ball like that so just do the ends and that's going to go there now I like to stick my balls down with glue because I found that they come off otherwise. Um, so yeah. And then last but not least, we're just going to get a sentiment off the sentiment sheet of stickers. Um, uh, mm, I don't want, <laughs> I don't want summer. <laughs> I want something like, yeah, it's all summer. Um, oh, let's let's make one up ourselves. So, I'm gonna just put for you. I think I'm not gonna stick these down properly. We're just going. I'm just going to line them up first. So, when in doubt, make it on for. You. Um, oh, trying to get it so that it's um oh yeah see let's do this okay so I need to take these up because then I should have really started from this side there you go so this is why we don't press them down until we know we've got our placement correct. Okay, I'm just going to stick them to my fingers for now. And we're just going to fall. Put a little gap. There we go. This one. And then this one. Nice. Oh, I like that. Again, it's so simple, but how beautiful is that card? I think this one's my favourite too. So I think the ones with the um, the flowers on definitely have won me over. I'm loving them. Right, okay. I think because it's not like 
we're not in a summer <laughs> I think because the weather's really bad I'm just not feeling summer today so maybe next time when I um, come to this kit we will feel more summery um, but yeah I know that um, I put a post up in my group saying that it was lovely and rainy and wet yesterday um, and loads of people were saying how sunny it was where they were so not jealous at all totally jealous totally jealous guys um, but yeah it is warm today but it's very clouded over um yeah i don't know i think it's you know we're gonna have to just get used to it aren't we so i'm putting this kit away because i'm not sure when it'll come back out um just because i don't know i'm finding it very hard which isn't like me i don't normally find the kits really hard but i am finding this one quite hard but i think it's just i'm not in the mood for summer and you've got to be in the mood so yeah uh, nothing at all towards the kit the kit is a beautiful kit um it is just personally me <laughs> um i just need to feel more more summery I, I think um but i have to say that one is just so beautiful um really really beautiful right let's bring the cards in let's have a look at them um so here they are these are the cards that we have made using um the card kit from love from lizzie for july so there they are i hope you enjoyed it hope um it's given you a bit of inspiration these two are definitely definitely my favorite um but that's it really for today guys thank you so much for watching and until next time please do take care and happy crafting bye